definitely seen the drum corps start from here and then go to here. Um, very proud of some of the things we've been able to accomplish over the last 10 or 11 years, but really feel like it's time for this drum corps to take a step forward. So this is Pacific Crest January Camp. Um, it's one of the first times really we get to kind of see the drum corps in action. We had our audition camp last month and we're still trying to set the drum corps, but by the end of this weekend, we're hoping that we have the members that will be performing with us uh, in August at championships. It's not an easy process because we are, we're really fortunate this year. We had um, over 300 people try out for us this year. So we're kind of still in the process of trying to get the right people in the right spots, but um, we've had probably the best turnout we've ever had in an audition and the skills that go along with that. There's this really high level of skill here at Pacific Crest this year and it's been really fun and exciting to work with this group of members. You have to be in great shape to do drum corps and to perform for 11 minutes at an incredibly high level takes an incredible amount of physical training. Members as they leave for January have to come back being able to run a mile. They also have to be able to hold up their horn for long periods of time. Same thing goes for the drums and the color guard. And so the, the physical aspect of this activity is incredibly trying, but it's incredibly rewarding. My name is Dakota Chavez. I'm the head drum major of Pacific Crest, and this is my fourth year with the drum corps. For music blocks, you know, the horn line and the drum line all separate, and they usually go off uh, with their respective caption heads. They do usually about an hour of warm up, and then from there, it's kind of up to the caption heads what they want to work on. Usually brass will break up into sectionals, work on some stuff, and then meet together later and try and piece different parts of the show together. Uh, same with battery, they usually will break up, do a lot of sectional work, and then come together and do some full ensemble work. I'm really excited about our show this year. Um, I think people are going to see things they never even thought they could see from Pacific Crest this year. Um, we're not ready to quite reveal it yet, but we're going to be playing this music that is really going to be accessible and the crowd's really going to love it. Being able to see the whole show product come together, you know, as a member, you can only see bits and pieces of it until you watch it on tape. But I get to, you know, I get to really see firsthand everything come together. I, get, I love seeing the progression in members, especially new members, and just, you know, three, four, five months down the road when I get to be sitting in front of the horn line and they're just playing as loud as they can. It's going to be a great feeling to know that they came from so far and they still have so far to go.